What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you guys can see, I'm in a little bit different of a setting than normal um, outside of the trading office, but I wanted to start showing you guys more so behind the scenes and more so like a blog style of what happens beyond the charts because we only spend so long on them, right? So if you guys read the title of this video, it's actually going to be on going to the dealership to see if we can actually pick up my dream car today. This has been a goal that I've had for quite some time. I've been trading eight years now, and it's definitely been hard to you know, delay gratification this long, but I really feel like things lined up, especially with last year. Um, overall performance was just great across the board. We had stocks rising, we had crypto do pretty well, as well as trading um, in Forex as well. So all those things, combined together worked out very well. And so this would be like a reward or a trophy for all the work and you know, those tired nights that were put in. So hopefully we can actually make something happen today. I'm gonna go to the dealership, see if we can work out a pretty good deal with them. And if we can, you know, we might be bringing home that new car. So come on, let's go. This dealership had way too many options as far as cars go, but I had my eye on a specific car and that was the BMW M8. This is a car I love for a long time, but it also has enough space and room for me because I am 6'2", almost 6'3", and you know, you gotta be comfortable for sure. So this one we're looking at is a twin turbo V8, around 600 horsepower, beautiful car. Now, I loved it, but I wasn't really feeling the blue, so I had to go with a different color. But nonetheless, we were able to make a deal and I'm bringing home my dream car. This is nasty. I the color. The color. Man. That color. I ain't never seen this color. No, <laughs> well, this one's a red. This, you don't see this very often. Oh yeah, yeah you got to look here all right. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> set the tone for it. Uh, yeah, you set the right tone. Yeah, man, I'm happy for you, man. Thank you. Man, you doing big stuff to be a young guy. That's good. Appreciate That's good. You need a business by the time you get thirty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Focusing on the vision of where you see yourself will always work out the best for you, I promise. You can't allow negativity to creep in from others because they're simply sharing their own insecurities. I've always kept my goals within trading and everything else to myself for this exact reason. It's your dream for a reason. It's for you to be able to see no one else. These are just those moments that confirm it, that the right choices were made. The hardest part is always just waiting for your time to come, but that's only for God to know. This just motivates me even more to help more traders out there keep pushing through the obstacles and struggles they're currently facing to make it to the great times ahead. Man, this was a long day, but we finally did it. We got the car. This is a crazy moment, like surreal, because I wanted to do something like this for quite some time, but I kept delaying the gratification because I feel like you really have to get yourself to a comfortable position, especially when buying things like this, which is more like a trophy, right? So. I'm extremely grateful for the position I'm in to be able to do this. And I just want to encourage and inspire you guys to keep going in your trading journey because it's not easy at times. The fluctuations of going through winning streaks and losing streaks and feeling like you know everything you possibly can know when it comes to trading. And then the next week feeling like, you know, you have so much more to learn. It's a never ending learning process. And all I can say is that trading has allowed me to do things that I wouldn't even see possible, you know, especially for my age. Being able to buy one of my dream cars, being able to travel the world, go to Thailand, go to South America for two months and, you know, really not have to worry about money, not having to worry about checking into an office or anything like that. Once again, there's nothing wrong with whatever path you take, whether it is nine to five or even having a job while you trade. All those are great options, but you know, just having the flexibility to do what I want to do on my own time is 
something that I'm just extremely grateful for. And I know all of you are working for that same reason, to have freedom, to have things that you enjoy, to be able to take care of your loved ones and all that. So yeah, this is just one of those moments that it just puts everything in perspective. It makes everything worth it. You know, even when I was leaving high school, I had a huge choice to make whether I wanted to go um, to college for four years, become an electrical engineer, or if I wanted to more so pursue things that I had a natural inclination for and things that I felt like I was already potentially good at. And I decided to take that leap of faith on my own and all I can say it paid off. I started off with the music and I loved it, but it was still another form of work or job, right? Because I'm still having to answer to somebody and customize my work to somebody else's liking and it just became even more draining than, you know, if I just went to a job and did my music on the side. So now being in this position, it's like, I'm actually able to enjoy my passions and hobbies and, you know, just use trading for the actual career path that provides that freedom for me. So beyond that, you know, being able to actually get engaged, get a home last year, these are all huge milestones that I truly feel like I wouldn't have been able to do on this timeline if it wasn't for trading. So once again, you can achieve all these things as well and even more. And this is something that has been shown to me just being able to see how, you know, Jordan and other people around TGFS have been able to prosper from it and actually change their life. So I'm just truly grateful for, you know, all you guys watching as well. Looking forward to 2024 as well. I think this could be a big year. Now, although I was able to check a huge, huge goal off of my checklist, there's still so many goals to hit. It's just the beginning of 2024. So if this is gonna be the year that you change everything and level up, I want you to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.